Now we are going to see practice set 19 of lesson number 6 bar graphs. Question number 1 is the names of the heads of some families in a village and the quantity of drinking water their family consumes in one day are given below. Draw a bar graph for this data. Take a scale on y-axis that is 1 cm is equal to 10 liters. Now names are given Ramesh, Shobha, Ayub, Julie and Rahul. These are the heads of the families and the liters of water they used their families are using or what they used we can write by Ramesh family 30 liters of water they used Shobha's family using 60 liters Ayub family is using 40 liters Yuri's family is using 50 liters and Rahul's family is using 55 liters of water in a one day and for this data we have to draw the bar graph now we can draw the bar graph for that First, we have to draw y-axis. Standing vertical line is called as an y-axis. And the horizontal line is called as x-axis. Now on the y-axis, 1 1 cm distance is there on the graph, actual graph paper having the 1 1 cm distance. In this 1 cm we can see the 10 small lines, means that are the 10 mm. So these are the 1 1 cm marking we can take. On this marking we can write these names and the liters. <coughs> now on y axis what is the scale? One centimeter. This is called as a intersection is called as zero. Now from zero ten millimeters are there. So this it becomes one centimeter. And for one centimeter we have to show ten liters. So ten liters. Then again one centimeter means ten plus ten is 20 liters, 30, 40, 50. See how much 60 are uh, there. We can take one more centimeter, 70 liters. Now on x axis, we are going to write names of the heads of the families. Now, what is this? These are the liters of water. Now on the x-axis we have to write heads of First one is Ramesh, we have to leave 1 cm, then we can draw 1 cm bar or half cm bar, we can draw any one, we can draw. So how many are there? 5, means 10 will be required, we are not having the 10, so half cm bar we can draw for the Ramesh. So I am writing Ramesh. For Ramesh 30 is there. So this we will take till 30. 
and half centimeter bar we have to draw. Now from this we have to view the one centimeter distance. Now for Shoba. From here we have to draw. Shoba is having 60 meters. Now until we are 60 uh, there. Now after the Shoba you can see the 1 1 centimeter distance is there in between two heads of the panels. Now one centimeter we have to leave, then we have to draw the next one. Next is Ayub. Ayub family is using 40 liters. So till 40 we have to go. See here is the 40. So this bar will become a 40. Now Julie's family. Now this is half centimeter, then half centimeter we have to leave. Then we have to write in Judy's family. Then for Julie, 50 is there. So the 50 we have to go. So this is the 50. This will come straight. Now last one is Rahul. We have to write Rahu here. Rahul's family using 55 liters. Now you can see the 55 directly 50 and 55. Here is the 55. So like this we can draw the bar graph. On the x-axis we have to take the names that is called as a category axis and y-axis we have to take the values that is called as a value axis. Now for the Ramesh we take in the 30 degrees, uh, 30 liters. For Shoba we take in the 60 liters. For Ayub we take in the 40 liters for Julie we take in the 50 liters and for Rahul's family we take in 55 liters of water so like this we can show the data in a graphical manner so this is called as a bar graph because these strips are called as a bar that's why this graph is called as a bar graph if strips are not there and lines are there then that graph will be called as a line graph so bars are there on this graph that's why it is called as a bar graph now the scale we have to write here we take in the scale but when you write Scale on y axis 1 centimeter is equal to 10 liters. That scale is important when you drawing any graph.